Hello Leo. This is Renee. Welcome back. Leo, this is going to be your reading for the next 48 hours. What's going on for Leo the next 48 hours? This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising in Venus. So wherever you have Leo in your chart. Okay, let's get into it. What's going on for Leo, please, spirits? Message for Leo. What they need to know. We have... Oh, i got to get my hair out of my eyes. There we go. Okay. We have humanity and benevolence. Stay calm. Trust the good in yourself and others and see the light in the world. So having faith. Having faith in your situation. Look at this. We have hope. Love and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. Say kind words to yourself, Leo. Yeah, have faith and hope. Okay, let's get another message for Leo. What does Leo need to know next 48 hours? Okay, we have a new romantic cycle begins. Beautiful. Okay. And we have prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. A Taurus may be very vital to you. Hmm. Interesting. Also Libra. Okay, let's see. What does Leo need to know? Next 48 hours. What does Leo need to know, please? Okay, we have strength and guidance. At the bottom, we have compassion. Beautiful energy. Okay, Leo, let's get some tarot for your situation. Okay, what does Leo need to know? Next 48 hours, spirit. Messages for Leo, next 48 hours. What does Leo need to know for their greater good? What is happening for Leo in the next 48 hours? Okay, there's a tower. There's some kind of change. The Queen of Pentacles. And the star. Okay. Okay. See, this is the reason why we had faith and hope. Because there's some kind of changes coming forward for you, Leo. There's something happening. There's something that maybe needs to set you free from the situation. Something that was not stable. It wasn't built on solid ground. Something needs to change. And this is going to bring you a lot more stability, a lot more happiness, a lot more feeling grounded, being, you know, able to use your resources. Um, it also may increase your, your finances with this change. So it, it's, it may be a blessing in disguise, but I feel like it's like taking you by surprise. It may have been something that you kind of wished would happen but you weren't quite clear if it was going to happen for you or not but I, I feel like with this star card you you know you have this renewed opportunity the star can also mean hope so it may mean that you know after this tower moment you may need to renew that hope having faith in your situation you know gaining the clarity the inner clarity of the situation why it happened or you know why it led you to that moment okay let's get we're going to clarify these as well Tor, uh leo we're going to clarify these okay it's funny i almost called you taurus there may be a taurus that surround you. Okay, Leo. Let's get more messages for Leo. What's going on for Leo next 48 hours? Okay, we have the High Priestess. 
some kind of secrets are being revealed. Something that you may not have been aware of. And I feel like these secrets, this these ideas that are being revealed to you, they may feel a little heavy. They may feel like it's a little overwhelming, like it's a little too much, a little stressful. But I feel like it's all moving you into this new romantic cycle. It's all like a preparation for you to learn some sort of situation so that this new romantic cycle can begin. You know, we're going to look further into that. Okay, give me more messages for Leo for the next 48 hours. More messages for Leo, please. Okay, two cards. Wow. Okay, yes, look at this. This is that new romantic cycle that's unfolding. The lovers, the fool, a new beginning. This is a new journey. Look at this. We have strength and guidance. So yes, yeah, Spirit is letting you know that you are being guided on the right path. You're, you're being led to this love this new romantic cycle now that this may be with someone new but this may be um, if you're already in a relationship this may be your relationship increasing to another level okay but the lovers is very significant this isn't only love this is a union this is a match made in heaven you know um this is a soul flame. This is someone that you are destined to be with. And we also have the chariot card. So it's beautiful energy. Not only are you moving in the right direction, you're going on this new adventure, taking this leap of faith, experiencing this new feeling of freedom and innocence and purity. You know, um, so it's beautiful energy. At the bottom, we have the Two of Wands. So I feel like this is all due to some kind of choices that you had to make. Some kind of um, results that you were waiting for. The Two of Wands can also mean travel. You know, choosing your path, which destination. Kind of at a crossroads. Making a choice. You know, are you going to choose the mountains or are you going to choose the valleys? You know, um, take it how it resonates. But I feel like you're moving regardless. You're moving into this new experience. The, the chariot is all about action and change. A new journey. You know, taking the initiative and trusting the process. There's no reins because she trusts that she's being led in the right direction. Trusting her instincts. You know? Okay. Let's get some clarity on this situation. Okay, Leo. Tell me what this tower... Excuse me. That was my stomach growling. I need to eat something. Okay. Tell me about this tower, this Queen of Pentacles and the star. Tell me more about this for Leo, Spirit. Give me more messages for the next 48 hours. Okay. We have the Five of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, something that made you feel kind of lacking. Something just wasn't, it just didn't fit. It made you feel kind of left out unwanted, unfulfilled, you know, kind of lacking some kind of emotions or stability that you needed. So that's the reason why this had to crumble. This had to fall to, you know, have hope and faith in your situation. You also have the Two of Pentacles. So this was some kind of choice that was made. And it may not necessarily be a choice that you made. Um, although the Two of Pentacles can mean two choices. 
It can also mean that you're weighing your options, you're kind of juggling priorities. Um, but I, I feel like with the 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 two of pentacles I feel like you're kind of moving away from this feeling of not feeling the way you want to be feeling at the moment kind of being accepted after you feel like you wasn't accepted if that makes any sense Okay, give me more messages for Leo, please. The next 48 hours, what's going on for Leo? Clarify this, High Priestess, King of Swords, and Ten of Wands. Okay, the Justice card in the Sun. Yeah, okay, so I feel like whatever secrets were being revealed to you, you know, they, they left you kind of stressed out. They left you kind of feeling a lot, you know. But you have the hermit at the bottom as well. And the justice and the sun and the hermit, major arcana. So this is a very important message that you need to hear. Um, Leo, I feel like this had to happen because something just didn't put enough energy into the situation. It just wasn't balanced. You know, the Justice card is all about cause and effect. Whatever you put into a situation, you get back. So I feel like you put in a lot of energy into the situation. But, you know, you did, you may not have gotten the happiness that you were looking forward to. But I feel like that happiness is coming back to you afterwards. Does that make sense? Because with this with this hermit card, the hermit is going within. He's taking that solitude, that time alone to really think about the situation, to gain a different perspective, to find the clarity on the situation, to figure out why this truly happened. And he's being led by his past failures, by his past lessons. You know, he's so in a way he's being he's being led by his healing, by his lessons, by you know, he, he's gaining growth in the situation. He's gaining his clarity, you know, finding his personal truth. So I feel like whatever this is, I feel like it may not have worked out at, at, at this time. But um, I don't believe this is what you're destined to have. You know, this situation that's here is not your destiny. I feel like because this had to leave, it's bringing you more happiness. Because this destiny is finally unfolding. You know, this person that you were meant to be with, this situation you were meant to be in, is now coming to reality. And I hope that makes more sense to you. Now we have the lovers, the fool, and the chariot. And like I said, those are all major arcanas as well. So this is a very important message that you need to hear. You need to take notice. Tell me more about this, Leo. For Leo, the next 48 hours, spirit. Give me a message for Leo, the next 48 hours. Look at this, the page of swords. Some kind of breakthrough. Something that you've been waiting for. Something that is going to bring you a lot of clarity. The Queen of Cups. Something that's going to make you feel supported, nurtured. You know, she's dipping her toes in the water to see if the emotions feel right. But she's still protecting her cup. She's still protecting her emotions in the way. So I, I feel like, you know, because of your past, past experiences, you may be kind of holding back the situation. You may be standing on your truth. You may be a little stubborn in the situation, Leo. But I feel like you're open to the situation because you're dipping your toes in the water. You're kind of testing it out. You're experiencing if this is the right situation for you or not. 
you know so beautiful energy we're gonna get more cards for Leo let's clarify this more give you more of an idea of what's going on here okay more messages for Leo please Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. The next 48 hours for Leo. Spirit message for Leo. You're yeah, the King of Wands. I feel like, you know, the King of Wands is very passionate, very fiery, very bold and daring. And sometimes he's very powerful. But sometimes he can be kind of detrimental. You know, to where his emotions are kind of roaring. So there may be conflict. There may be, you know, arguing or, you know, something is very passionate, very emotional, very fiery. But the ones also mean to take action. So I, I, I feel like this change after this change happens after this choice that you need to make happens i feel like there needs to be some kind of action that needs to be taken you need to move on a certain situation some kind of action some kind of courage that you're having but it's bringing you a lot of happiness you know, you have the sun card again. This is the second time we've seen the sun. And when the sun is on the bottom of the deck, it may be something that you're not really expecting. It's something that you really don't see that's happening. But whatever this change is, I feel like there's an underlying happiness that you may not be noticing. Something is going to work out for, its, for, for your best interest, Leo. It's all happening for your greater good, you know, and having hope and faith in that situation is going to bring you the strength that you need to move into this new journey that is unfolding around you. Okay, let's get some more clarity for Leo. Okay, yeah, we have the the ace of swords so with the justice card and the sun card we have the ace of swords so this is kind of removing the conflicts from your life finding more clarity coming up with new ideas maybe gaining a new perspective you know the the ace of swords this is also a gift the this hand is coming out of the clouds to bring you your truth to bring you some kind of knowledge and awareness that it you know that may bring you a lot more happiness a lot more karmic energy you know so it's beautiful energy okay let's get more clarity for leo more messages for leo please sun moon rising venus the next 48 hours Okay, we have the Six of Cups. So something is bringing you a lot of happiness. Something is feeling like a gift. Like it's like it's like a reunion. Now this may be someone that you already know. This may be a love that you're already in, but something feels renewed. I feel like this this may feel like a reunion. If this is not someone that you know in this lifetime, I feel like this is a love from a past life. Beautiful, beautiful energy. This is someone that you're destined to be with. It's destiny. I feel like the universe... Look at this strength and guidance. The universe brought you together. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, Leo. Uh, we're going to get some oracle cards. Okay. 
What messages do we have for Leo? Sun, moon, and rising. Okay, we have light activation. Shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. You're gaining the clarity. You're hearing spirit talk to you through maybe your dreams or meditation. But you're getting the answers that you need. We also have phases and cycles. There's a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. Beautiful energy. Something is being released because it wasn't really meant to be. Okay, let's get more messages for Leo. Okay. A time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. And we have a time for healing. Beautiful. So you may not realize it, Leo, but you may be giving more than you're taking in a situation. And it may leave you a little off balance. You know, maybe that's the reason why, you know, this situation has come the way it did. Okay, we also have divine timing. So I feel like this situation, this divination here is destined. But it's all happening in divine timing. It's all happening because of some sort of work that you've done. Some sort of connection that you made. We have romance and connection. So definitely some kind of union. Some kind of match made in heaven is happening for you. Okay? So Leo, this is what I have for you. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. And um, until your next reading, Leo, many blessings to you. Love and light.